It's Tom Baxter from Beta Fish News Club. Today we're going to be going over Chili Raspberry. Is it a good beta fish tank mate? And more on the Chili Raspberry. Thanks for joining me. The beta fish, as you might know, is also called the Siamese fighting fish. But many don't know that you can actually put betas with other varieties of fish. Um, the Chili Raspberry is a cute little red, fiery red fish. And it's actually quite a pretty variety. So the big question is, can you put these two guys together? Please stay tuned as you're going to find out more about the chili raspberry. It's a schooling fish, so that means it's good for large community tanks and also smaller nano tanks. So these little guys have a big personality despite being quite small. They are dart and swim around in rapid pace. The red color is quite amazing and eye-catching, so a little, a few of these guys in schools really make your tank stand out. The, besides them being called chili and being fiery red, they're actually quite a laid back fish. They make good tank mates for a lot of varieties because they're not aggressive. Um, here are some details about the species to see if they do fit in with the Beta Splenda as friends. They're easy to care for, half to one inch in size come from the Boratus brigadae, uh, scientific name. Uh, they have red and black fins and scales, and they live to five to eight years, which is quite a lot, because betas don't usually live that long. They're quite mild, they like plants and animals, and they like being in tanks bigger than five gallons. They like a lot of plants in their freshwater tanks, and as mentioned, they do get along with other fish. They're pretty petite, um, but the thing is, you need to have them in schools. They like to be with their own kind, at least in the pack, because they are so small. They're known for being quirky and playful. Um, some people call them a mosquito raspberry as they help hail from waterscapes that usually have a lot of mosquitoes in them. Um, most never grow past an inch in length, and the males have the nice fire red color. Um, they're not a true raspberry, but they were introduced and crossbred in 1993 as being crossbred in the species. They really look cool in red and this is why people love them so much. Um, they usually like to hang out in the top and medium section of the tank like betas, so they're easy to spot, but they might at times go to the middle or bottom to look for food or to hide. Um, when you see them in their schools, it's kind of cool um, as they have lots of crazy patterns. Um, they're capable also of like betas jumping out of the tank when threatened so the problem is you probably won't find them as they're an inch long it's really hard if they jump out to get a hold of them they are very attractive fish and they're known for having dark spots on their fin sets it's an easy way to d separate the male from the female is the fins the male usually have brighter fins on their f stripes on their fin set um, it's actually quite entertaining because from far away you see this one little one inch red fish flying around. It looks like a laser almost. The fish likes a tank with lots of plants because they like to hide just like the beta. Um, their natural habitats usually have sandy bottoms so they like soft low pH levels and they like a lot of places to hide. Um, rooted plants are good as they can provide them shelter and they can hide in them a lot, lot of places. They usually like to have six fish minimum in the school. Um, so you want to, that would be the five gallon size. If you had a bigger tank, you can obviously have more. Um, floating plants are good because they can snack on them and hide in them. Um, they can also use them for shade. But if that happens, if you have some lights, it'll actually intensify the red color. So the big question we want to answer today, are they a good tank mate for a beta fish? So let's go over the facts. They're peaceful, mild, and they like to habitat with other peaceful, mild fish. So this means they can hang out with shrimp. Um, dwarf shrimp are the best, but you don't want to put it in a tank that has large aggressive fish because they literally are a bite-sized snack. The good news is that the tank conditions for the beta and the sapora are quite similar. Raspora. Their diets are basically the same and they're both omnivores. So the chilies need the plants to hide and get shelter from. 
So they actually are quite similar to the betas. The bad news? The betas have been known to get a bit aggressive with the chilies because they are so tiny, so it's not a perfect match. It's possible for them to live together in harmony, but the chili is a lot smaller even compared to the beta, so a beta would be two or three times bigger than just the small chili. Um, it's also always an experiment when you add them to the tank. So you could probably add six in the school, which is a minimum amount of chilies to add. Um, so they do cohabitat in the wild, so there is a bit of chemistry. Um, you might want to try a Harlequin Raspo to start to see if the betas like that as they're a bit bigger. Or you can try the Scissor Tail Raspberry, Dwarf Raspberry, or the Chili Raspberry, as we're talking about now. So you can go for it, but like we said, not a perfect match. Um, here's a better match for a uh, beta Wood Shrimp or the Chili Raspberry. Wood Shrimp, Pearl Denoy, Cherry Shrimp, Cory Catfish, Amano Shrimp, and Gorer Rammies, like the Sparkling. So that's better matches for the Chili Raspberry. To wrap it all up, it could include a Raspberry and Beta together in the same tank if you have some cautions. The Raspberry is a beautiful fish, has an amazing suit, but you might want to try it with other fish besides a Beta. But with some caution, it is possible and people have done it. So thank you for watching this quick video on the Chili Raspberry. Please visit us at betafishnews.club. Um, I'm Tom Baxter. Um, there's plenty of goodies there. And if you want to post your fish pictures and your fish's name in the comments, that'd be awesome as we're trying to create a club or a community. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.